So you guys know I like to be truthful with stuff on my channel, especially with stuff that's like going on in my life and stuff like that. Today I'm going to tell you my truth about the Identity Developer Crew's decisions regarding marketing. So obviously there's different truths to the story and there's, you know, the fans truth and the developers truth. So I'm going to give you my stance. If you've seen, you know, other games marketed well, they're often AAA companies that have a lot of funds for commercial game trailers, stuff like that. Identity could definitely improve on the grounds of dev blogs, developer blogs, at least monthly, you know, but you got to walk around in their shoes for a while, you know, as an indie crew working to create a huge project like Identity. And, you know, they have to get it right. They want to get it right for everybody. Even with the gun trailer video in regards to marketing, they don't want it to look like crap, you know, because this day in this day and age, if you don't get first impressions right, that means you will not be able to proceed and be successful amongst the other small developers trying to make games like this and you know just any other game that small developers are trying to make because it's an ever-growing market and people are always coming into it I often look at it as I would rather them do a dev blog every couple months or every four months and put delays on stuff to have a really good end or good end product you know but even with that outlook, I still struggle to see why the why they can't do these things more frequently, like the developer blogs. And you know, here's the conclusion that I've come to: the identity developers work on things every single day, and if they told us every little thing that they did, it would heighten our expectations. And if they can't make some of the features work with the full game or even with the modules, their fan base will call them liars, just like No Man's Sky did. No Man's Sky did a really bad job of marketing because, you know, they didn't finish the game. Not to mention the time that the identities, like the identity crew is going to be wasting on every single little thing that they've worked on, like writing it down in that day or even the week. All in all, I feel like when they have a lot of information to release and they know what they're going to add into the into the game, that's when they release one of those juicy developer blogs that you guys see. Like, the best idea, or the best advice that I can give you is to be patient, like, not not bug the developers in the Discord, because I swear to God, every single day, I look into that Discord, and it's somebody talking about how something hasn't come. A developer blog hasn't come. A commercial hasn't come. The Town Square module hasn't released yet. If you guys just be patient, watch my channel, and distract yourself, then you guys will be perfectly fine. In regards to saying that, this has been really tough to make identity videos, you know, just because they haven't really released a lot of information recently. Besides the thing that they did March 24th or so, uh, the email. And also, I have made a Q&A, so if you're begging for more information, you guys can definitely go check that out. It's in my channel uh, videos. It's called Identity Developer Q&A March 2017. I did it last month. There's some, you know, pretty cool information on there, and if you're a fiend of identity info like me, then you'll enjoy it. All in all, guys, we just need to get off the the developers' back about this, because honestly, if we keep on bugging them about it, then it's going to make it to where they rush the game, because they feel like they need to just spit something out, even if it's, you know, not a good a good game yet like they need to make it to where that it's playable and there's still some stuff in there because if if they don't make it to where it's playable like i said first impressions are key so a lot they could lose a lot of their fan base if they release the town square module right now and as you know they're polishing it up so i would estimate the release to be within this next couple months and the video i would I don't know when the video would come out. It could come out a day right before Town Square module releases. You don't know. They're trying to work and they're trying to make this project for us. And honestly, I think we should just all leave them alone about it. Obviously, we can ask questions and stuff like that about the game. But I just think we should get off their back about how they're not marketing well. Because they're not. They're just, they're not. But it's, it's really out of their hands at this point. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. I usually do quite a bit of identity videos, and I have most of them added to my identity playlist. If you guys, you know, enjoy identity, I will definitely be doing a let's play on that. 
and more live streams to come in the future. So if you guys want to hit me up on those live streams and play with me sometime, go ahead and follow my Twitter and my Instagram. I will be posting on my Twitter when I'm doing the live streams and stuff like that whenever I actually get up and going. I also play games like Star Citizen and other RPG games like that in Altus Life. Also, Worlds of Drift is pretty fun and Player Unknown Battlegrounds, obviously. So, like I said, guys, I love all of you guys. I always want to keep it real on this channel. If you think I'm being an idiot, go ahead and put down in the comments that I'm being an idiot. Try to go for more constructive criticism because that's what I like and that's what I'll change in my future videos. Also, if you have a suggestion for a video that you think would be cool, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will definitely read it and maybe I'll even make a video on it. I'm pretty lenient with my video ideas, honestly, guys. At this point, it's pretty tough for me to make identity videos, so I don't know how frequently I'll be able to spit them out. I'll try to get a few more in this week, and obviously when the Town Square module releases, I'll have a ton of new information and gameplay videos for you guys to come check out, just in case you don't want to buy the game yet, or in case you're a little sketched out about it. I have bought the game, I bought the Founders Edition, $30 edition, and I will probably go up in money on it uh, whenever the town square module releases maybe i'll even get the apartment pack so that i can do some apartment stuff for you guys love you guys please go ahead and leave this video a like comment subscribe hope you guys all enjoyed see you in the next one peace out